friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. What is up? Um, today, we are building another I.O. panel. This is a cool one. This is like a half little baby distro, half, I wouldn't even call it a distro, but half little, little baby power and uh, some signal here. Uh, this is going into a removable uh, rack that's going into a larger case. Um, this uh, will have four channels with wireless mics in it. So that's these are the outputs for those. These are some network. Um, we've got some courtesy power here, and they want to do a true one inlet. And then on the back, uh, we're going to put a cable gland in here. This is just going to be a female Edison that goes to feed other things in the rack. Um, so as far as, I mean, again, I'm sure most of you probably know this, but in case you don't, um, I run the systems integration department here at LM Cases. Um, if you'd like to see, you know, the evolution of these projects, uh, check check out LM. So uh, we do have a YouTube channel, LM Cases 1985. I'm sure that that will be displayed somewhere here. Um, and then if you want to check us out on Instagram, also it's LM underscore Cases. So a lot of these things. Um, I will build on my channel, the Billy channel, um, just so that you can you can see it because I think it's interesting. Um, and then the other thing is uh, my video editing skills in both shooting and, or I should say my video skills both in editing and shooting are terrible. Um, so uh, any of the really good looking stuff goes on LM's channel and all of this like quick down and dirty set up a camera and go um, stuff is done on, on my channel. Um, if I was more skilled in my editing, perhaps it would go on LM's. Uh, that being said, hey, check it out. We got LM coffee cups in. Check these out. This is, uh, I, I don't have swag for my, uh, for my channel. So if you do want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, um, you can just get little LM trinkets uh, from the web store, uh, or excuse me, from LM's website. Or no, I was right, LM's web store, lmcasesonline.com. Uh, this is my latest insane creation. This is the uh, $30 coffee mug. And you might be asking yourself, why $30, Billy? Well, because Anything that's worth doing is worth overdoing, and I decided that it would be cool to have a super heavy-duty diner mug, uh, and then also it would have to have a four-color silkscreen, which is four setup fees and all kinds of other stuff. So if you buy something from LM's web store, um, I think it's over $1,500. You get one of these for free. Um, but if you do want one, uh, we have a swag section um, on the store. But also, I mean, if you're, we sell connectors and all that other kind of stuff there too, so if you do want to... Uh, support me in, in some some kind of way. Uh, you can put this coffee mug on there. Uh, this costs us thirty dollars to make. I have it on there at twenty nine ninety nine kind of thing, just because I think they're cool and you know. It, or I should say, if any of you have a coffee mug that's super cool and you want to trade me, I will gladly trade you a coffee mug for a coffee mug. Um, we've had some people do that, um, and we've got we're starting to get a really cool arsenal of uh, of coffee mugs around here. So. If you guys want to do that, uh, just look up LM Cases and send it to the shop. Um, we're in Austin or in Youngstown, Ohio. So if you want to send us that, I'll glad. If you send me a cool coffee mug, I'll gladly send you one of ours back. But anyway, off to the project. Let's build this thing. I mean, again, not really crazy. I'm going to take this box apart and we'll uh, get the power situation. Um, we'll get the power installed and then uh, we'll get this. And I don't know. We'll see how much of this gets time lapsed and how much we talk about because again not really the most interesting content but it's interesting and i have to give the youtube comment section something to complain about so here we go
So here you go. We're finished up here. Uh, what do you guys think? I think it's this is a very cool little simplified panel. Um, I, I always kind of snicker to myself when I build these things because it's like for something that probably in a normal situation would take me about an hour to build uh, because I'm doing it on film, it's like hour and a half, two hours because I'm uh, always constantly looking in to make sure my head's not blocking the shot, and it's uh, which which it does sometimes. I actually had to pull my solder sucker out. I don't know if you noticed that because I was dripping solder from uh, an XLR connector, which is just like hilariously bad. <laughs> it's like the first thing you learn on solder is to rip an XLR connector. So, hey, just want to let you guys know, this stuff's live. It's not rehearsed. Well, it's sort of live. It's not live. It's pre-recorded. But, you know, I, I'll keep the warts on there, too, it's just so you guys don't think that this is, uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm anybody uh, that's, like, crazy doing this stuff. Anyway. These inlet outlet connections are kind of cool. I've been I've been specking them a lot lately. Um, they um, I I do I don't backload these. I try not to backload uh, power cons or true ones. A lot of you have commented on that in previous videos. I got in trouble with that uh, early on because our panels are thicker. These are an eighth inch aluminum material. Uh, occasionally, if you're using the older version of power con, now it's not the the old version that's before the the black and white or black and blue ones, the one before that, the latches could get stuck and not lock. So we've we've had problems, although they looked really nice uh, with a back mounted power con. Uh, I've just kind of switched everybody here at LM to just say just front mount it, um, just to make sure that it works. So if you're wondering why I didn't back mount that connector, that's why. Um, again, I also have been specking these these Leviton outlets a lot. Um, I just think that. In the world of needing courtesy power, A, it's really great to have that, and then B, um, I, I kind of never know what manufacturer is going to do what. So I, I keep the, the dual A, USB-A outlets in stock and the dual USB-Cs, but I find myself more and more just using the A and C so that you have one and one or the other. So whoever walks up to this thing with whatever device you have from whatever manufacturer can plug it in. Um, you know, uh, so moving on to the, uh, the signal section. Um, I did have a comment on a video a couple weeks ago asking about these. We used to use the NE8FDP slash B connectors, B as in Billy. Um, and I swatched, I swip, <laughs> say that three times fast. Um, I swapped them over to the NE8MX. I'm messing that up, but it's the MX series. Um, so, I mean, just looking at it from a cost standpoint, um, the NE8FDP slash B that was like a ten dollar or eleven dollar connector. I haven't bought them in a while. I don't know what they are post, you know, post inflationary period. But these guys are expensive. I mean, these are like a twenty dollar connector. But what you get with them is it is a way more robust connector. Um, I think that these probably came out first, I believe, and then they tried to make a lesser expensive version, which is the NE8 FDP slash B. Um, the reason why I stopped using those is that they had plastic screws and plastic connections. Um, so they actually did come with the infamous Neutrik E screw um, to plug that in, and I, I just was worried about repeated in and out um, for heavy-duty kind of deployments that you would crack. I haven't had any failures. We've been using those. We used that connector probably from, I don't know, 2008 until 2021 or so, and we haven't had any failures. But again, uh, I, I feel like if you're buying stuff from LM, uh, you're expecting a certain amount of overkill, or as I like to say it, the correct amount of kill. Um, anyway, on the back of the panel here, um, I, I do like to, to wire everything with StarQuad. Um, so this is StarQuad cable. Everything is labeled here with, a, uh, with also a number and, a, and the actual spelling of it so that you can see that plugged in. These are, um, we start with, I usually add another foot to these back tails. Um, so if the idea is to have a three-foot tail, I'll usually cut a four-foot piece of cable. So by the time you do like this, keeping this all laced down on standoffs, um, and then any of the connections associated with building StarQuad, you end up with around a three-foot three cable. Um, so again, uh, looking at this, this does have a female uh, AC uh, outlet on the back. Um, this is going to go into a eight space removable, like Baltic birch texture coated rack that goes into an entertainment system. Um, so this will power a trip light RS1215. Um, and then it also comes with a, uh, a fourplex, uh, to true one, 
uh, outlet. If you watch my videos or follow LM in any way, I love those. I build those all the time. I think they are just endlessly practical. Um, if you're going to have courtesy power or anything of, of any variety, why have one outlet when you can have four? So um, there are a lot of things that we do on this that are a lot, I should say, a lot of products on this that you can buy. So, I mean, again, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you do want to support us, we have swag and the infamous $30 coffee, coffee mug and all that kind of thing. But if you are building paneling of any type of variety, uh, we do have uh, Star Quad on the, uh, on the web store. We have all the connectors on the web store. Um, if you want to buy those from LM, uh, you can. You know, I mean, that's just inventory that I keep in stock here. It's just, you know, if you... If you need something, we happen to have it. It's been weird the past couple of years. Sometimes Neutrik just decides not to not to build stuff, and they're not in any distribution points. So you know, I just keep my inventory because if I can sell it, I can sell it. And you know, more or less, if you guys need something, I I have stuff. So if you're building anything, just shoot me an email, Billy at BillyLaGuardia.com, and chances are I may have it for you. But anyway, you can buy that stuff from LM. The other thing that I did put on the web store recently um, was I have uh, cable builders. For, uh, for these, for the XLRs. So if you want to have a male or a female XLR, um, if you want to build your own panel but you don't want to solder, um, I can do this portion for you. Uh, so you know you can get the cable, you can get the uh, heat shrink label, and this can all be done. All you have to do is uh, just mount it to your panel. As you see, I built all of the XLRs first and then put them to the panel. So anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. I even appreciate the crabs in the comment section. Um, you know, again, these are, these are fun videos for me to make, and I do enjoy the discourse uh, between uh, Billy and YouTube, speaking of myself in the third person. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.